We're here today at Deep Lock Quarry Metro Park in Peninsula to hike the 1.2 mile quarry trail. Now the first thing you might notice is the entrance sign, which hints at the park's history. The start of the trail is a short paved section that's downhill, and the trail icon is a millstone. We'll explain the significance of that in just a minute on our hike. At the bottom of the hill, a fence separates you from the tracks of the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. To stay on the quarry trail, veer to the left. To join up with the towpath trail, stay on the paved section to your right. Along the trail, you'll find pieces of the park's past, including discarded millstones. The millstones that remain were considered defective when the quarry was mined over 80 years ago. After a short walk, on your right is a connector trail to Lock 28. The Ohio and Erie Canal can be directly credited with the growth of Akron. Locks, like Lock 28, allowed canal boats to climb distances and elevation along the Continental Divide. Today, the Ohio and Erie Canal Towpath Trail is a popular destination for cyclists and hikers. We're here at Lock 28, the deepest lock on the Ohio and Erie Canal. It's one of the park's namesakes. And here's the other, the Quarry Steps, where Berea sandstone was mined to build canal locks and other local structures. The sandstone in Deep Lock Quarry was of such high quality that its millstones and grindstones were shipped internationally to Germany, Japan, and Russia. The sandstone was last taken in the 1930s. You can follow signs to the quarry rim and enjoy the view from the top of the steps. Just be sure to use caution. On the rest of the quarry trail, be sure to look for buckeye trees, as Deep Lock Quarry Metro Park has more buckeyes than any metro park in Summit County. The trail ends back at the parking lot, where there are cooking grills and picnic tables for your enjoyment. To learn more about this trail, hike with a Metro Parks naturalist, or visit our website, summitmetroparks.org.